Hello, everyone. You probably haven't noticed me here today, but you may just have noticed my shoes. <laughs> I vividly remember the first time I heard my shoes talk. They were standing in front of a venue where I arrived to attend an event and were clearly calling my name. A lovely girl wore them, and I instantly hated her for having such amazing black and white shoes. Now, the seats at this event were allocated, so I couldn't instantly interrogate her, but they did shuffle us around now and again, and at the third and final changement, I ended up right next to her. Solid proof that there is indeed a shoe god. <laughs> Of course, instead of friendly introducing myself, I insisted, where did you get those shoes? And being a lovely girl, she told me. So I dashed home for some frantic midnight Googling. <laughs> Fast forward weeks and months of eBay searching, social media pleading and slave shopping, and I found them. In my size, on sale. Yet I wasn't happy. I was devastated. They were the all-black version without the cool white lining. Still great shoes, but I didn't feel the magic. I still bought them, of course, as we do, and then decided to do this. I painted my shoes. Uh, it took 120 milliliter of leftover natural radiator paint and one entire weekend. <laughs> and two things that were blatantly missing from this video. Can you guess what they are? Right, my hands. My shoes, your shoes, my dress, your shirt, are all made by hand. Everything we wear is still largely made by hand, and not everyone realizes this, but they're not grown on trees or, or sewn by robots or painted by small animals. They're handmade. And since I painted my shoes, I have a hell of a lot more respect for that. Now, I painted my shoes here in Amsterdam, but that's not where that normally gets done. That gets done in other parts of the world, as you probably know. But do you have any idea where exactly the clothes you are all wearing now were made? I'm guessing not everyone's sure. And isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting that we don't have a clue where our underwear came from? Yet our clothes are so important for us. They protect us, they improve us, and make sure that we can actually leave the house to go to events like this. How many people do you think were involved in making sure that we here could, for instance, wear those sneakers or that grey jacket? I mean the necessary people for one garment in all stages. So from raw materials, to processing, to manufacturing, designing, distributing, marketing, selling, everything. How many people? 169. On average, 169 people are needed to provide me with this dress. Unbelievable. Literally you might think, but I've got proof. OK, I counted this myself, but still, it gives you quite a good overview. That many people, we here in this room, are not with enough people to produce and sell one tiny pair of baby pants. And look at all those countries. Your shirt travels all over the world and has been to places you haven't been nor will ever go to. So how many of these people have actually touched your clothes before you put them on this morning? That may sound, I realize, like a bit of a weird or even creepy question, um, but I am trying to make a point about your clothes being handmade. Are you ready? 
for the amount of hand contact. Oh, that went fast. 85 other pairs of hands have touched your clothes before you put them on this morning, making you 86. That's 172 hands. And through these hands, the people that made your clothes touch your skin. And they touch you. You connect and your worlds become one. And each and every one of these people has a story, like you do. And when you wrap yourself in your cardigan on a chilly day, you wrap yourself in these stories and carry them around. Now your clothes, the 169 people and 172 hands behind them need you. And you need them. So why not love them and pay them some attention? I've told you the story of my shoes. Well, the very end bit of it. But what is the story behind yours? If you listen carefully and appreciate your clothes, you may someday just hear them talk.